Hi, welcome to another photo link video. What we're going to do this time is we're going to go into a program called uh, either some people call it Yugen, Yugen, or some people call it Huggin. Basically, it's a panorama maker. Uh, through this uh, panorama maker, you're able to make number one uh, normal recti or rectilinear uh, panoramas, which are like this, or what you can do is you can take uh, 180 by 360 panoramas uh, doing a stereoscopic view and um, uh, create an image similar to this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come out here and we're going to uh, click on the icon for Yugen and it loads. Okay, and once Hugin comes up, it comes up with a tip, which will just close that. Now, this is a, it can be a very extensive program, uh, a very complicated program, but it has an assistant on the front end. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do a simple panorama. And then in the next few videos, what we're going to do is we're going to get into the uh, more complicated stuff. But initially, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this Load Images button. And if we take a uh, thumbnail view of our images, we're going to take this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, as well as this one, and we're going to open them. Basically, what they are is they're images that overlap approximately 25%. <coughs> Excuse me. Overlapping 25% usually gives you the um, uh, the best results. What we're going to enter in here is a uh, horizontal field of view for the lens. Now, if you've done this with a full-sized image and it comes in with the XIF data, it will automatically read that for you. But we're going to enter this in for starting and ending lenses. And then what we're going to do here is tell it to align those images. This will automatically build what's called our control points, which we will uh, talk about in a later video. It's how the images are tied together. But it will build these control points and then uh, present us with a, um, um, a, a preview of the, uh, a rapid preview of the uh, panorama. So it's still finding the control points. And I believe this is the last one. Now what it's doing is it's matching those images. And it's checking for outlying control points and placing the images. It's loading the images. It builds images in the temp directory. And it presents us with a panorama. Now, this is not the final quality. This is just a, how do you say it, rough draft. But if you'll notice, see the sky right here has differences in exposure. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this window. We're going to come in and we're going to optimize the images. So this will optimize the images and we apply the changes. Then we get into exposure. <clears throat> and to get rid of that, uh, the exposure differences, we tell it to optimize now. And what it will do is it will um, optimize those images on exposure. Now we come over to our Stitcher tab. We tell it to calculate the field of view. And then calculate the optimal size. Now we can go in and change this to whatever we want to. Here we'll say... Uh, 800 and now what we'll do is we'll come down here for our final result and tell it to save it as a JPEG with the quality level and we'll tell it to stitch now it's going to ask us for a file name which we'll put down as test and we'll save it and it's going through right now and it says stitching our panorama
when it's done we can go um, and take a look at the file and there's our panorama stitched now there are ways of doing it in uh, Hugen but what we're going to do is we could take this into GIMP or Photoshop or whatever do a slight rotation crop fix up the color and whatever and end up with something like this okay well I thank you for watching uh, this uh, brief introduction to uh, Hugen we're going to come on line with a lot more videos here very shortly and we're going to um, expose this program in much greater detail it's a very powerful program I certainly recommend uh, downloading it uh, I will put the link on my site my site is uh, www.photolink that's f-o-t-o-l-i-n-q dot com and uh, download it uh, follow this simple example and um, you'll have your panoramas thank you very much for watching.